Hello guys, it is a highly requested video, I know, it has been a long awaited video. <laughs> I feel like it's been almost a year since my last meal preppy video, so I just thought today's the day that you guys are going to get more quick and easy healthy recipes. Well, I'm excited because I honestly need to get my crap together and meal prep as well So I feel like this video is just kind of it's perfect. Okay, it kind of benefits both of us because you get some ideas and I actually Meal prep because <laughs> I have not meal prepped in I don't know how long it's been so long, but I can finally meal prep because I I'm doing it for you guys. So, you know, it is a win-win situation <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be giving you guys three meal prep recipes Two savory and one breakfast meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for breakfast, we're gonna have a chia pudding. And for lunch or dinner, whatever you can switch around with it, like doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna have some pasta, high protein pasta. And third is a salmon stir fry. These are all literally gonna be so quick and easy because I am a very basic, lazy person when it comes to cooking. I'm gonna tell you that now. So if you guys are all about lazy and quick, Stay tuned because I've got the recipes for you. And delicious, might I add, delicious, delicious. All right, so for breakfast, we have our chia pudding. And here I have my two. You can put as much as you want, but I put 30 grams in each. And you guys, this is like the easiest thing you could ever make. All right, I'm using the macadamia milk. Usually I have almond milk, but this. I don't know, I feel like this has been a game changer for me because I feel like it's made my smoothies a bit creamier for some reason. I'm like, I'm digging it, so I'm gonna add it into my chia pudding. The ratio, it may seem a bit too like too much liquid, but overnight it soaks up all of the liquid and it becomes kind of like into little bowls, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> add your sweetener of toys. I use the Flav Drops from My Protein or Maple Syrup. Take your pick, whatever you have access to. Just flop like that. Also, as a sweetener, I'm gonna add my protein powder with chocolate protein. Okay, you don't need to add protein powder, but for me, I like to add protein powder because I like to feed my muscles, you know. It keeps me full for much longer when I put more protein into my, my meals. You don't have to have protein powder. If you don't really like it or anything like that, it's not really, it's not essential for you to put protein powder in it. It's just for me. It's like an extra sweetener on the side as well, as well as protein. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mix. If you guys want, honestly, just alter the liquid ratio to however you like it. Oh, it's getting hella thick. I'm gonna need to add more liquid into this. An extra ingredient if you want cacao powder to make it like extra chocolatey you can make your chia pudding whatever flavor you want you can just have it like vanilla what other flavors are there strawberry i don't know caramel go crazy with your flavors of your chia pudding mine's just gonna be chocolate with some strawberries just like that chef's kiss just whip everything together and that's your breakfast for two days or for me for two days i only need two days I kind of started midweek. I should have, I should have started on Monday, but it's currently Wednesday at the moment, so I only need Thursday, Friday now. So done. Next meal is some pasta. I'm pretty sure everyone has pasta in the house. It's pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay. I don't want to generalize and say everyone has pasta, but most of us do. I have the red lentil one. It's high in protein. Literally per serving, it's 29 grams of protein, and that's. A big fat yes because it'll keep you fuller for much longer you can have regular pasta whatever pasta you have at home it's cheap it's it's literally the easiest thing well i literally say that for everything but like it's one of the easiest things you can make if you're feeling very lazy you literally just chuck it into the, the boiling hot water and wait for it to cook and then you put your sauce in which i'm just going to use pre-made sauce because, you know, I told you, lazy meals. You can make your own sauce, do whatever you want. Pre-made sauce for me today. I'm going to be adding some leftover vegan mints. I don't have any actual meat mints, but you can also use meat mints. Literally, whatever you have, just use it. To, like, dense it up a little bit, you know, because I don't want to just be eating... For me personally, I just don't like eating just pasta on its own. It's a bit boring for me. I like to add texture to it, add more flavors to it, you know. I'm going to be adding this mince, or is it vegetarian? I think it's just vegetarian. It's just vegetarian. I'm lying. It's vegetarian, not vegan. Whoops, my bad. That. 
season as you wish. Ooh, that's a lot. You look like a lot of mix. Oh, wow. Special ingredient is some nutritional yeast. Got some B vitamins going on on this pasta. <gasps> that is how it's done. Lunch or dinner is ready. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. I might eat this tonight. I'm so excited. Frozen salmon is where it's at, guys. Honestly. Now, two portions of salmon. Delicious. Ew, I shouldn't have done that. That's smelly. It smells like. It smells a bit fishy. These three. Three ingredients plus olive oil. Easiest thing. Oh, and plus rice. Don't rise. Ooh. Mine looks like absolute poop at the moment, but I promise it'll taste nice. I promise. Time to stuff this bed in. Look at the color in it. This is essential. We're gonna pour this in. Now stir fry. Done. It's looking very um purple because of the beetroot, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious because I've tried this many times before, so I know it's delicious. And I already have my broccoli and my white rice. Usually I have brown rice because it is low GI PCOS things, but you know, I only have white rice today. That's okay. Ladies and gents, is our final meal. <laughs> it looks so good. You guys have to try this. I promise you, it's so good. You won't regret it. If you like salmon, do it. And if you're a vegan, tofu also works. I've tried it with tofu. Bomb. It is good with tofu as well, I promise. Or like any kind of meat, really. Honestly, you could do this kind of stir fry with any meat. With chicken, with turkey, with pork, with beef, anything. I'm not lying when I say it is a lazy meal because this took me 10 minutes. That honestly is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some, you know, helpful tips that you can take away from this video and, you know, use it. Happy meal prepping, people. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.